On to day 13. Look at this. Nothing really on the television. Let's check the weather here. What do we have? Partially cloudy with a light breeze. Lots of pollen. Oh dear. The light breeze should be refreshing. But look, Theodore has mail. Dear Farmer Theodore, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Continued on next page. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Ah, oh, sweet. I can't wait to get a kitchen in here. I wonder what, how much that fee will be. We'll, we'll have to see what that looks like. Let's take care of some farming here first. Get these crops watered. Things are tidying up pretty nicely around here. He's ready to go? No? Okay. Cauliflower's looking good. I do anticipate more spelunking on Theodore's horizon. Let's see how far down we can get in the mine today after we check out the rates for expansion on the house. That should be all for now. Okay, we'll take some leaks and we'll head off. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, I did want a, a shipping container built near the the mine however I don't see it craftable from this menu yeah I'll, I'll have to look for that suppose we'll go pay Robin a visit here and say hello to sweet little Xavier oh hey there dear What's in this grotto here? What do we have? Not a thing. Nice, empty space. But it's pretty dank in here. On to the back way. Admire all of the butterflies floating around. And the little squigglies we'll come back for with a hoe. I figure before. Oh, the Egg Festival is today. So it appears we would not be able to speak with Robin. That's alright. We're already at the mine. Let's carry forth. See what riches we can uncover down here. Hey look, we already found the ladder. Let's go for distance today. As soon as I find a ladder, I'm gonna go for it. Just our luck. bring any torches. We'll have to be careful here. It's getting rather dark. Here's one torch, thankfully. Back. 
back, I say. You shan't best me. For I am Theodore the Great, ex Joja Drone, fledgling agricultural master. I shall not be bested by a mere fly. Pesky, though, aren't they? Well, let's see how quick work we can make of this floor. And, and I have had some experience in this game, enough to give me a few advantages when it comes to the economy, as far as understanding uh, certain routes of easy money, if you will. And I will be incorporating at least a couple of those methods, just because they are ways that I enjoy to play, at least for now. But I have not yet reached the point where I will be able to incorporate any of the methods, so in time. already on floor 18 and it's just past noon. wonder if we can make it to floor 25 today. That'd be great. Theodore is itching to find a weapon. This, what are the rusty swords just not, not holding up here. While an apt fighter, uh, usually, Having such a such a weak weapon is proving not very time efficient. And Theodore loves efficiency when it comes to time. Let's see, is there anything worth we can drop that get this algae here? This fiber can go probably. Can I just toss it? How do I do this? Well, I'll do it from here. The menu, that is. No, oh, and I have slime. I will also toss the slime. Because I want the algae to eat. There will be plenty of slime. Plenty of slime in Theodore's future. Now this rock spider, that, that rock spider, Theodore is not too bothered to dispatch, as it had its full defenses, it was prepared. Floor 19, is this going to be a run, we're going to have to spiral, spiral, I recall, uh, past journeys through the mine, where I have had to take spiraling paths that reach the center of the map, all the while being bombarded by enemies. It can be, oh, as we are right now, yeah. This might prove difficult, seeing as Theodore has such a inefficient weapon. Stand here, kind of paddle ball yeah, against the wall or whatever. Here we are. I, I appreciate the encouraging music, though. It's like, oh, you're almost there. <laughs> you're gonna make it. <laughs> Right? Theodore's gonna make it. Theodore is going to make it, everyone. Based on the time, it might be a stretch making it to the 25th floor tonight. We can try, but we'll see where we're at as far as resources go. I think it'd be nice to dump the inventory 
And I really ought to say, hey, I might as well. I ought to see about setting up a, a shipping box inside of the mine to figure out how to craft one. I, I, I could have sworn I, I learned the recipe to craft one, so I'm curious as to where that is located. So let's see, what could we do without? The woods... It, the wood is necessary, but not essential right now. So we'll toss that for whatever treasures this might be. What is in store for Theodore? Ooh, a steel small sword. This is perfect. This will replace that, that rusty one we've been working with. Level one versus level, level one. Uh, is it faster? Yeah, it appears to be faster and better damage. We will take it. But we will store the rusty sword in commemoration to all of the good it has done us. Look, a nice little fishing spot here. Theodore will have to return. But up we go. While Theodore does hold slight regret for not attending the Egg Festival, he simply just does not feel prepared to present himself. Theodore does not feel fully integrated into each individual's lives to the point where he would stand out as a stranger in a crowd. And he does not want to be that stranger. Instead, Theodore wishes to build relations with each of the villagers individually. So at these grand occasions, when he presents himself, that they all see him and they are happy. It is Theodore, that one who is foraging himself to riches. That is Theodore's intention. Little by little, he will be building relationship with each of the villagers by their own accord. Let's see, we got a fair haul today. Can make some more copper bars. We will store the rusty sword as well as the leeks. Is there anything we can use immediately? No. We could plant the rice shoots. I don't see why not. Okay, that's what we'll do. Well, but we'll need the hoe for that, won't we? Right here seems nice. From my understanding, you don't have to water them if the rice shoots are planted uh, within two tiles or three tiles of the water. So this will be perfect. And our copper bars are complete. Alright. Now, I missed. I, I don't know. Is my copper uh, wood cutting axe ready? Because that would come in a lot of handy. We'll check tomorrow. Maybe it's tomorrow that it'll be ready. Theodore's itching to clear some of this wood here. Acquire the resources that they hold. Let's see if we can get a bit of foraging in before it gets too late. Just south of the farm here. Ooh, boy, is it dark. Clear some of the 
paths here. Make the space easier. Oh wow, look at all that. So many mixed seeds. Or is that just one mixed seed? <laughs> but one mixed seed contains so many mixed seeds. Or, uh, I stand corrected. <laughs> the one mixed seeds contains the mixed seed. Z but just one. <laughs> it's all so, <laughs> so complicated and dark. We really ought to have crafted some torches. And I am not aware if I place torches around the map, do they stay? Like in areas such as these? Like outside of town? I'll have to test. Or if uh, they'll stay for the season, perhaps? But uh, disappear as the seasons change? More fiber. A part of a healthy, balanced diet. But not too much in the way of foraging. And now it'd be wise for Theodore to return to Cozy Grove to get the much needed sleep for tomorrow's work. We'll plant these seeds just before we tuck in, right next to the scarecrow. Get them watered. And now we are ready for bed, just after we refill the watering can. Aw, little Zave. Level 2 combat! I can now craft the life elixir. An incredibly useful item, I must attest. Plus 5 HP? Very nice.